the Buddhists, interestingly, call this the universal mirror. I was just watching something by, about, with Penn Gilead, you know, Penn Gilead of Penn and Teller, and he was saying how so often people will be so strongly against something, they become what they are opposing. And this is totally the case with people in Westboro. Okay, the next one is problem of false objectivity. GS recommendations speak from your perspective. Reason reflects consciousness of abstracting. They have some problem statements. Example, he's a horrible partner. She's tall enough to play basketball. There's no better way to write a paper than structure it in the five paragraph format. Now, Westboro Baptist Church's signs are completely full of this. They will say, gays are brute beasts. And people will say the same thing about them. Now, it is a challenge to have the correct general semantics way of expressing things on a picket sign because a picket sign has a limited space. But perhaps that's an inherent problem of a picket sign. It does not permit for a greater range of expression. The next category is the problem of predication. The general semantics recommendations speak more about the process. Use descriptive verbs instead of be verbs. Mention that you label reflects consciousness of abstracting is the reason, they say. Now, this is a lot of big words in this. So we'll try to boil it down to something simpler. Westboro Baptist Church says, this is this, this is, is, is. And so do you. You look at Westboro Baptist Church, most of you at least, and we'll say, they are this, they are that, they are that. Now, general semantics calls the best way of speaking as in speaking in E prime, which is not using the verb to be at all, because they say whenever you say something is something, you are making a statement that's saying that you have the total truth when only you have a certain perspective. So it's better to say, this seems this way. And you'll hear motivational speakers, Buddhists and the like, who will say, whenever you say something is a case, you don't always have the facts. If you say somebody is acting this way, you don't really know what's going on with them behind the scenes in most cases. You're just making a reaction based on what you see. Therefore, the biggest people, the deepest people, are those who are willing to dig. Now, of course, it's impossible to always know 100%, no matter how much you dig. And you could easily then say, we shouldn't ever say anything about anything. But that would severely limit our ability to get anything done. Therefore, I believe it's best to dig as much as possible, but also realize you could be wrong and you could not have all the facts. The next problem, it says, is identification. The general semantics recommendation is describe what is done. Mention that you label. Reason reflects consciousness of abstracting. Their examples of problem statements are, I'm a lawyer, I'm a human being, he's a good father. Those homeless folks are lawyers. Now the rhetoric of Westboro Baptist Church is totally full of this. You are this. Gays are this. You are a gay enabler. And the people who are against Westboro Baptist Church, which is the vast majority of people who are not seen in shades of gray, are saying the same thing about them. They are a cult. They are evil. So, are you any better? The next one is problem of elementalism. GS recommendation, use quotation marks when separ separating entities. Use hyphens to conjoin separated entities. Reason reflects consciousness of abstracting. For example, they have problem statements. Her mind was fine, but her body was not. We grow up Privy to two worlds, a world of nature and a world of words. I'm alive because of my heart. Now, this is a little more complex, so we're not going to get into that. What General Semantics also recommends doing is what they call the process of indexing. Now, we like to lump people in categories. Deborah Tannen put it this way. She said, we like to see ourselves as individuals, but we look at pe other people as members of groups. Now, you, many people look at Westboro Baptist Church 
as this monolithic group. They're all the same. But those of us who are willing to dig deeply will see an endless amount of variation. There's different personalities, there's different ways of acting, there's different ways of seeing. Some people are nicer than others, some people have different approaches to this or that, some people have different views on certain matters. And even the most autocratic, authoritarian, dogmatic, rigid group organization, there's going to be differences. Even in the Nazi party, I've looked at Nazis and I see a lot of difference. You will see differences between every Nazi possible. They had different motivations, different thought processes, different interests. Same with Westboro Baptist Church. Different personalities. I'm a big third party guy and therefore I have wanted to lump the Republicans and Democrats together. Now the big third party argument is they're not any different. Now I'm not believing that they're totally significantly different, but there are differences. There's different factions in the Republican Party, there's different factions in the Democratic Party. And the more you learn about that, the better for you. After all, if you know the factions in your opponent's parties, you know how to better split them, to divide them. You know the lines you 